Hello and welcome to a brand new video. In this video, we will explain how to size a sewage treatment plant. If you're considering installing an off-main drainage system such as a sewage treatment plant, there are a number of things you need to take into consideration. Before any building work can begin, you need to assess the size required to suit the requirements of the property. In this video, we'll explain in more detail how you size a sewage treatment plant. So, what is off-main drainage? The vast majority of properties in the UK are attached to a main sewer via a network of pipes. However, an alternative option is to install an off-main drainage system, which instead of being connected to a main sewer, privately collects wastage from your property. The majority of these types of systems tend to be in rural locations where there isn't a main sewer connection or it is expensive to try and connect to. An off-main drainage system can either be a cesspit, a septic tank or a sewage treatment plant. In this video, we are concentrating solely on sewage treatment plants and how to measure the correct size for installation. Now, how do you size a sewage treatment plant? Getting the correct sizing of a sewage treatment plant is important as you need to ensure the tank is able to handle the ongoing wastage disposal requirements. If not, performance levels are likely to dip, which will create additional work and potentially more costs. The tank you choose will need to be determined by the number of people it will be catering for, rather than basing it solely on storage volume. This requires you to calculate something called the minimum population figure. So what is the minimum population? Instead of accounting for the minimum amount of people who live in the property, the figure is derived from the minimal number of people using the bedrooms. For example, if the property is three bedrooms, a minimum population figure of five people would be used. For any additional bedrooms in the property, the minimal population count would be increased by one. This is according to the flows and loads code of practice set out by British Water. Smaller houses or flats with a single bedroom would equate to a three-person system, with two-bedroom property equaling four people. If the off-main drainage system is connected to a group of flats or houses, each property will need to be calculated individually and the minimum population figures will be added together. Finally, should the total population of a group of flats or houses be higher than 12 people, you may have to factor in a reduction. The reason for this is to account for a balanced overview of usage by people living in these properties. Therefore, p-values between 13 and 25, you multiply the p-value by 0.9 before rounding up to the nearest whole figure. And p-values between 26 and 50, you multiply the p-value by 0.8 before rounding up to the nearest whole figure. In most cases, these additional calculations will not be required by domestic property owners, as they will either be installing the system for their own property or for a smaller group of houses. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like on it and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a future video.